Let's have a look now, three years after your debut, and you played against India, same ground, Basin Reserve Wellington, and best figures? It was at the time, in fact it was a, a turning point in my career because I hadn't really had any successes at all. And a couple of things happened, firstly I should never have played, because uh, Frank Cameron, who was chairman of the selectors at that time, did something quite revolutionary in our cricket, and that is to leave a spinner out, and Hedley Howarth uh, was thought to have played, but they left him out and they played me, along with Richard Collins, Lance Cairns and my brother Dow. So we went in there with, with four seamers. And sure, the pitch had a bit of greenery about it, so it was going to assist the, uh, the quicker bowlers. And I didn't even open the bowling. I was demoted to number four in the bowling attack. And I hadn't played first-class cricket with a great deal of confidence. In fact, I uh, hadn't got many wickets at all. And so I was sheltered. I, w I was held back. And as soon as I was brought to the bowling crease, um, three wickets happened very, very quickly and uh, it helped me and made all the difference. So I picked up four wickets in the first innings and then quite dramatically in the second innings, picked up a career best with uh, seven for 23, which gave me my first uh, bag of 10 or 11 in, in, in a test match. Did you have that Antarctic breeze as you back there? Well, of course, at, at Wellington, it's well known for its, uh, for its wind. And with the way the old ground and the old pitch was, either you had it right up your backside or conversely you came straight into it and uh, I bowled with the wind and I bowled with quite a lot of pace, quite a lot of fire and for, and for the first time I, I started to fulfil the potential that the selectors had actually um, uh, put in me and uh, to get that reward set up a quite a dramatic victory and uh, we bowled India out for 81 and uh, that was my first success against the Indians. Then against England.